Today we're going to look at how to install Unix via VirtualBox onto a Windows machine. Mac users can follow these instructions as well, but Windows users must do, do so. Mac users can use the Unix that's built into their system and don't need to install VirtualBox. So first, download and install VirtualBox on your computer. So when you go to VirtualBox, select Downloads, and then download the appropriate link for your operating system, either Windows or Mac. Okay. Once that's downloaded, then you need to download the VM image. The VM image is quite large, it's two gigabytes, and so this will take a significant amount of time for you to download. I have already downloaded it onto my computer. Next, we need to install VirtualBox. So the installation for you will look similar. You just hit continue and keep going. I've already installed VirtualBox, so I won't keep clicking through. Once you've installed VirtualBox, uh, you need to find it on your computer and open it. It should either be in your program files your application files, or you can search for it in the Windows Explorer or Spotlight. Once you have VirtualBox open and the VM image is downloaded, so the VM image is called CSCI 117, then we can import an appliance. So go to the little folder icon. Mine is saved in my downloads. I have CSCI117.ova. And I'm going to import this appliance. Once you have the appliance imported, now you should have a Unix setup for 117. So what we want to do, this is like a virtual computer. It's as if you're running an additional computer inside of your laptop or your other computer. And I've set it up so it should have some basic functionality right away. One thing you do need, you will need to do here, is right away you want to go to Devices and Insert Guest Edition CD Image. And the password for this computer is 117. The user is CSCI and the password is 117. The reason we need to install guest editions is that it allows VirtualBox to communicate with your machine so that you can copy and paste between other areas of your system. Okay, once that's finished, hit return. And let's just test our installation by going to terminal. So I'm going to turn off these warnings up above so I can see what's going on. 
Oops. There we go. Okay. So let me see. I think I already set this up for you. Yep. Good. And so you already have PED set up for you. So you, won't, you don't need to do any terminal customization. And so now once you have the terminal, Firefox gives you a web browser. You can also uh, write Word documents and control the settings as well as see the files. And so now you're all set to execute simple Python programs.